as I got 50, uh, the first thing I said to myself, like first thing, I was like, I have to do a full checkup. So I did a checkup two years ago. But now I was like, yo, I went to my doctor. I said, listen, I have to, I want to do the whole checkup, everything, prostate, uh, X, Y, Z, heart, ECG, echographies, everything that has to be done, you do it. Radio, x-rays, etc. So, so she said, ah, listen, wow, you're 50, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do the whole battery of tests and we have to do a colon colonoscopy. Did you ever do that? I was like, nope. Is it the thing where they put a, a tube with a camera in your ass? And she was like, yep, that's, that's the one. I was like, oh shit. So um, it was scheduled for Monday, two days ago. Let me know there, what up? It was scheduled for Monday, two days ago. And um, listen, I thought I did a good diet. I listen, I never had uh, any surgery, so I've never been put in uh, total an anesthesia. So I was a little, a little stressed, just a little bit. But I was just like, all right, listen, let's do it. Um, so three days before, I had to have a special diet. And uh, I guess I didn't do it well uh, because I had I had a, I had a meeting at the restaurant, so uh, it was hard to find exactly what I needed to eat inside of the restaurant. But hey, listen, other than that, uh, the night before I had to take something to completely clean the colon, like uh, called Plenvu. Uh, listen, interesting. Uh, listen, actually. Colon cleansing is actually something that is great. It's great to do. Like it gets rid of gas and also, listen, and my belly was super flat since I did it. Listen, um, so yeah, but you have to have like two liters of, of, of water plus a special product that tastes like it doesn't taste bad it just tastes very chemical and strong so took that at 1 a.m plus another one at 2 a.m but 5 a.m you just like emptying yourself uh and then i went to sleep woke up at 11 go to the hospital arrive at the hospital so they do me a uh, uh Catheter here on the on the vein here. Um, start putting me some uh, serum and get me ready. So you know, it's a long wait. So just slept a bit. Then they woke me up, took me to the operation room, and then uh, the doctor explained to me what he was about to do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, in my head, I was like, "Wow, never had, never had a, yeah, never had a a big." Never had any total anesthesia. Never had that. So I, I really didn't know what to expect. Um, sort of point, the woman who does anesthesia, she start, I, I felt some liquid getting into my hand. And she told me, night, night. And I look at her and I said, ah, thanks. And in my head, I was like, I wonder how, and listen, then I was awake, <laughs> waking up in the in the other room. That's crazy. He felt like he felt like if he felt like if and I and I ask. I remember waking up and saying, "What time is it?" And somebody telling me three thirty. I was like, "What?" Because <laughs> I entered the hospital. It was twelve. So now it's three thirty. And I'm like, what? Did I, did I sleep two hours? That's crazy. And uh, yeah, you just feel like blinking your eyes. And then, yeah, you know, get dressed. The doctor explains to you, explained to me that my, my, my colon was not clean, clean. So 
I might have to redo it in a, in a year. But other than that, all good. So this ends my battery of, of tests uh, for the health. Everything is good. Prostate is good. Heart is good. Um, breathing is good, etc., etc. Uh, so good. I'm, um, it's all groovy. So yeah, that's what I did. So um, no discomfort from having a a long tube in the ass, I guess. And it's funny. A friend of mine who works at a hospital told me that. A bunch of gay dudes, they go do the colonoscopy without anesthesia just to get the feeling of. And I'm like, yo, I don't want to know. Listen, I don't want to know what happened. Like, yo. Anyway, <laughs> yo, listen. <laughs> to each their, their own. Everybody like what they like. Go <laughs> now, 